So we just came off the big bridge and uh, Maori stopped and this gentleman uh, started talking to her and uh, in this little conversation uh, he asked us would you like to stay here in Rotterdam? If you look over my shoulder here you see this this building with this, this, this glass facade um, and there we can get a, a room, a house, uh, an apartment. A lot of words for the same thing. Um, we were kind of flabbergasted and uh, we're going to discuss now if we're going to take it. Wow, these people that offered us this apartment, um, we were totally caught off guard. To be honest, we also felt a little bit like cycling on today because we just made maybe 20 kilometers or something. The weather is super nice and uh, yeah, we, we felt like cycling. So if we would accept the offer, we would do something that we maybe didn't want. You can always accept these kind of invitations, but you also listen to what do you feel, what do you want to do yourself, you know. So in the end, everything worked out and uh, yeah, we're just really grateful for, for this invitation. So yeah, the magic of bicycle touring. This time we cycle from the port city of Rotterdam on the west coast to the small town of Borne in the east. Here we will be staying for a while, guarding a closed boarding school from breaking and entering. On our way we discover life along the rivers, ride through quiet forests and enjoy the Dutch spring. So our drinking water, we find the water points on Mapsme. It's great, we just go from point to point, fill up our water and I have to say it's one of the best qualities of water of in the world the taste is really good it's different than when you buy it in a bottle from the supermarket I can really recommend it so always wanted to see the national park, the Biesbos, one of the last freshwater tidal wetlands of Europe. It formed in 1421, when 300 square kilometers flooded because of poor dike maintenance due to difficult economic situations in the area. The massive flood caused whole villages to disappear and many lost their lives leaving a network of creeks and reeds in the years to follow. The park creates a haven for many species of animals that flourish in this type of habitat, like birds, fish and amphibians. Unfortunately, the bicycle isn't the right vehicle to explore the many waterways, and we would love to take a canoe and experience how large parts of the Netherlands must have looked like before man tamed the marshes of old. Last month, the weather has been incredibly beautiful here in the Netherlands. And it's so unlike anything that I know from my youth. Just sunshine, every day, sunshine.
are looking for a camp spot. It's a little bit late already, around, I guess, 8 o'clock, 8.30. Uh, we want to go in these woods over here. We tried to look for a camp spot like already four times, but yeah, it wasn't uh, suitable. So let's check it out. breakfast this morning we have yogurt, soya yogurt with apricots. I'm finishing up here with the soya yogurt. So that's that. Of course cinnamon, our favorite spice for breakfast. Man with the apricots, it was very nice. Lovely breakfast, healthy, power, good cycling. So it's the first day since a long time that it has been raining and it was pretty necessary for nature and uh, it's pretty cold as well. Oh, it's going... Ooh. Man, spring is really in full power right now. Everywhere ferns and the green uh, leaves from the beaches as you can see behind me. It's such a beautiful period right now. We're about 80 kilometers from the place where we will be staying. And uh, we will be there for 10 days and then we will head back. Almost at our last camp location for this trip. Oh, I see there's a lot of raindrops now. I have to be quick. I'm gonna camp there, it's raining, it's pretty cold. Tomorrow we will arrive on a place where we'll stay for 10 days and then we'll cycle back. So, yeah, pretty chilly, but uh, luckily the last seven to eight days or something it was really sunny so no problem good for nature and uh, yeah we will see you soon Let me give you a tour of the terrain. Every day we have to do several walks to check up on uh, signs of burglary or vandalism. Until now there we found nothing uh, luckily. So there are several buildings here in the back of my shoulder there. There's the gym 
And that's also the place where we shower because that's the only place we still have hot water. Then back here, there's the main building and in the front, that's the place where we sit. The main road goes over there and people are coming in uh, with their uh, cars or people just uh, walking by and wanting to check out the building. So I'm now checking all the windows on this side of the building. If there are no rocks thrown by people or people broke in. It's a bit spooky in these uh, empty buildings. Check the doors. They're unlocked. Yeah. We're heading towards our little resting area. And this was the reception and this is where we are relaxing. So we finished our time here in Borne, in the east of Holland, and we are now packing up the bikes, they're behind me. So we had a good time, we were here for 10 days, and yeah, we had to be here to just check if everything was okay, and there were no problems with the building. It used to be a youth detention center for boys and after that it was a center for refugees. It's a pretty big building. It was a little bit spooky sometimes to walk around here. Yeah, but it was a fun experience. And uh, yeah, we're heading back on the road again. We have about three days of cycling. We're going home again. And uh, yeah, we hope that the weather will be okay. There's uh, quite a lot of rain in the forecast, so we will see. Okay, so let's get back on the road. Click one of the videos on screen to check out more of our adventures. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell. To help with our video creations, consider supporting us on Patreon.